The S&P 500 and Nasdaq Composite closed higher on November 7, after the Federal Reserve announced a cut of 25 basis points in interest rates, extending a sharp rally sparked by Donald Trump's return as U.S. President. Well, obviously, a, a little bit, I think, of stability after such a huge ripping rally yesterday. So just seeing it not a retracement is a positive, I think, overall, it's just where current levels holding in to where we are. And the same is pretty much true when it comes to Treasury yields as well. A little bit lower after a big move yesterday. Uh, but really, even after the Fed cut, we're not seeing any big moves on the two or the 10 year yields either. Everything's just kind of holding relatively steady. The S&P 500 gained 44.06 points or 0.74% to end at 5,973.10 points, while the Nasdaq Composite gained 285.99 points or 1.51% to 19,269.46, and Dow Jones Industrial Average fell 0.59 points to 43,729.34. Yeah, so looking at the statement from the Fed after cutting another quarter point today, really no changes in, in the language at all. It's almost verbatim from the last meeting. And so it looks like they're traveling towards a goal of around 4%. So that gives us another couple of rate cuts over the next probably several months worth of time, and then a recalibration. The balance between the two mandates is definitely coming back into their statements. The Fed cut interest rates by a quarter of a percentage point as policymakers took note of a job market that has generally eased while inflation continues to move toward the U.S. Central Bank's 2% target. But we actually need the numbers to catch up to that. GDP is slowing. We're seeing labor data slowing. It's not quite there yet. So it's all good feelings and good vibes, and that's great. That momentum can last for a while, but we want to start to see the actual fundamentals catch up to where the market is currently priced in. Markets had almost fully priced in a 25 basis point rate cut for the November meeting and will now eye upcoming commentary from the central bank for guidance about the path of monetary policy. Earth News. Based on foreign media reports, 